Herpes virus is a parasite which infects humans very easily and when they infect they stay in the body usually for life. There are eight types of herpes viruses and each of them causes different types of diseases. And first is herpes simplex virus 1. It causes oral herpes, also known as herpes labialis, or cold sores, or fever blisters. It causes painful and itching lesions on the skin, usually on the lips, or around the lips, or on the face. And it lasts for several days. Usually, this lesion is itchy. Herpes virus 1 usually spread by kissing or sharing personal items, but not uh, with uh, casual skin-to-skin -skin contacts like handshake. It affects around 67% of world population. It means it's extremely common condition. So herpes simplex virus is extremely common infection. Second is herpes simplex virus 2. It affects genitals. It looks like uh, type 1 very much, but it affects genital. And it is sexually transmitted disease. And even person has no visual or visible lesions on the skin still possible to transmit infection. It affects around 30% of world population. And what is the treatment of herpes simplex virus 1 and 2? They have similar, similar treatment. Treatment is antiviral medications like acyclovir, valacyclovir and famciclovir usually oral forms. Oral forms are stronger and topical creams are milder. But oral forms have more side effects. Topical creams have less side effects. That's the difference. 3. Varicella zoster virus. Varicella zoster virus is very interesting because it causes two diseases, two different diseases. When it first affects person, first infects person, it causes chickenpox. Chickenpox is itchy, uh, itchy skin rash which develops into fluid filled blisters in several days. It is chickenpox. Chickenpox will go away itself within several days or within several weeks. And treatment is acyclovir. Acyclovir is effective within first two days uh, but usually it will resolve its own and no need any medication but when it's when it is needed then acyclovir is treatment acyclovir is most effective in first two days that's why uh, and in most cases it's very difficult to diagnose chickenpox within first two days that's why uh, acyclovir is used seldom and after recovery from chickenpox, this virus still stays in the body, stays in the nerves, and sometimes it reactivates because of stress or because of weakened immune system. It can reactivate it and it causes second disease, which is called herpes zoster or shingles, and it causes localized rash. While chickenpox is disseminated rash in whole face, whole body, and herpes zoster is localized rash in specific places, for example, at the back, at this case. And it causes rash, blisters, and it's very painful, and the burning sensation, and discomfort, and this discomfort lasts for a prolonged period of time. And what is treatment? Treatment is acyclovir, valacyclovir, and famciclovir. So, usually, Usually, treatment of herpes viruses is acyclovir, valacyclovir, and famciclovir. That's the treatment in most cases. And for for type of herpes virus is Epstein-Barr virus, which causes infectious mononucleosis, and infectious mononucleosis also called kissing disease because it's spread via kissing and via saliva and it causes fever, sore throat, fatigue, swollen lymph nodes and enlarged spleen in sometimes 
Also, Epstein-Barr-Virus sometimes is associated with Hodgkin lymphoma and multiple sclerosis, so it increases risk of Hodgkin's lymphoma and multiple sclerosis. It's Epstein-Barr-Virus. And five is cytomegalovirus. Cytomegalovirus usually is asymptomatic. It has no symptom and person has this, in this infection, but it's latent in whole life and no symptom, no manifestation. But some cases, if person has weakened immune system or four unborn babies, so four pregnant, it, it's risky. It can cause severe infection in people with weakened immune system and uh, unborn babies. So we should be careful as this case. And six is herpes virus six, which causes roseola. Roseola is childhood disease, which causes uh, manifests as a rash and fever. Uh, and it's, uh, it, it will resolve its own, its childhood disease. And seven, herpes virus seven looks like herpes virus 6 it also causes roseola like symptoms so they look like each other too much uh, no specific treatment for this disease and herpes virus 8 causes Kaposi sarcoma Kaposi sarcoma is important for people who has weakened immune system or AIDS it's important because it is cancer and uh, if person has normal immune system usually no problem it does not cause anything but if person has weakened immune system it causes Kaposi sarcoma that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now